Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm just into West Sussex again, just outside Surrey, just going over the Surrey border. And I'm in Itchenfield, not far from Horsham, to visit St Nicholas Church, built in 1125. Thanks to Richard Vogue, the bald explorer, one of his old videos about crumbling churches. I came across this place watching that video. So thanks very much, mate. So yeah, let's have a little look around. This church has another little feature, which I'll show you in a minute. But it's got this fantastic 15th century wooden tower. This is quite unique. It's built on four vertical posts, this tower. Great door, guy of a door. But yeah, it's quite unique, this uh, wooden tower. As you can see. And from the church, you can go out into this lovely little walking trail. This is the West Sussex Literary Trail. Mm, okay, it's a bit muddy, so we're not going down there as you as uh, you can probably see. Um, I'm here to look at the church, so uh, let's go back in and have a look around. Is the church open? Yes. Itchingfield is really secluded, it's right off the beaten path. Um, but an absolutely glorious, glorious church. And a few little gems, as I said, there's something outside I want to show you in a minute, which I haven't uh, put on the video yet. It's lovely. 1125, obviously with later additions, of course, of course, like most churches, it's very hard to find sort of old churches that still have that, um, original aesthetic ladies and gentlemen please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you Unfortunately, the door is locked here. Or is it here? Uh, but behind this door in the belfry is the original medieval staircase. Obviously, they don't use it now, so sort of elf and safety, but it's the original medieval staircase. Incredible. This is great. Flora and fauna of the church are, but here, the history of St. Nicholas Parish Church. And here you can see when these particular parts of the building were made. 12th century, yes, which is all that wall here. I'm seeing all this wall here, that's 12th century when it was originally built. Uh, and then we're going to 14th century around here. That's great. The belfry is, as I say, is uh, 15th century, which is when we saw just a minute ago. People can't see the, um, uh, the medieval stairway. There you go. Here's a picture of the uh, of the stairway, the medieval stairway. That's the thing about ancient churches. There's so many periods of rebuilding, adding on, taking away, mainly adding on, from when they're originally built up until pretty much the Victorian era. Um, I think these pillars are original. Incredible the craftsmanship. The craftsmanship. I mean, this church has been here now almost a thousand years. Well, 900 years. You know, is your house going to be there in 900 years' time? Probably not. Probably not. This little gem I wanted to show you 
the 16th century priest house. Fantastic, 16th century, which would have held visiting clergy uh, back in the day. That's going. I'm going on about doors, look, look, look. Toilet, please mind your head. But yeah, absolutely lovely. 16th century, even smaller, even smaller door. This used to, used to stand outside of the churchyard, but the church has been so much extended over the years. But look at that, beautiful, 16th century. Let's just pull back so you can get a, a better look. The sun's uh, gleaming down at the moment. I'll link Richard's video about crumbling churches below because he actually was invited and went inside uh, to have a look around, which is absolutely fascinating. But yeah, having this, it's a nice little charming feature to have in, in, in the churchyard. Yeah, it's all locked up, unfortunately. I could get inside and have a look. Oh, it's really warm today. I wasn't expecting blue sky and sunshine. It's had overcast and a bit near, but the, um, the weather's been rather nice. Lovely. Wow. I don't think they. I don't know if they use it for anything nowadays. Probably just a storeroom. It's just, just a great little feature to have next to the main church over there, and especially with its wooden tower. I mean, these structures were probably really common in the area. This was last used as um, somewhere to stay in 1860 or the 1860s. It's been sort of abandoned since then and now used, I say, probably as a storeroom. But yeah, these, these kind of old um, structures were probably been quite common in the area. Yeah, love it. There are graves here that go back to the 1500s. So a long, long, long time. Ooh, sun's in my face. Richard also did a really good video here with a guy who had, I think I'm right, 130 ancestors in this churchyard. 130. Maybe not direct lineage, but um, all from the same sort of family, which is quite incredible. 130. Oh, it's really peaceful here. So there you go, just a little video from Itchenfield and St Nicholas Church and the priest house. Always wanted to come here, ever since I saw it on a Richard video. I do like West Sussex, I've been saying lately. I mean, I love Surrey, of course, um, but I do love West Sussex. Some amazing, amazing places here. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Just a quick one, a quickie, a quickie around St Nicholas Church. Please do the usual if you've liked it, subscribe, all that stuff, commenting, all much appreciated for the three people who watch my channel. <laughs> That's a joke. And we'll see you next time. Take care.